Hi there, I'm Will Kidd with Seven Seas Estate Sales and I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of our upcoming October 16th and 17th hybrid asset sale out here in Coryton, Tennessee. This is a really cool sale. We've got hundreds of musical instruments, thousands of record albums, a whole room full of radios and other cool electronic things and then uh, some nice furniture and then the strangest mishmash of, of random assortment of stuff that you'd ever found in any estate sale. So I'm going to give you a walk through and explain what we're doing up here. Now I've mentioned the musical instruments so starting out with over here you can see fiddles galore all right all these fiddles violins as you prefer i've got to and here's dolly standing guard over all of them uh, about half of these are uh, in the online auction so we'll come up to one right here and you'll see when you come in for the sale if it's got this kind of long sticker on it the description you're going to find a, uh, a violin in that case and it'll be in the online auction on the other hand you might see a case like this it's got a round sticker on it all right that's a sticker price you can walk in here and buy this one for 100 bucks case and all so the, uh, the violins, there's uh, definitely the most of them. And uh, you can see all up on the top here. And then also, as I go all the way down to the end again, uh, underneath. So there's this many. And then I'm going to swing across the room. And you'll see these are all the ones that are in serious project mode. So these are 35, 40, 50 bucks. And what you're going to find here is ones that, uh, you know, they may be ancient. Uh, they may be German. They may be from somewhere, but they definitely need a bunch of work. And if you're into that particular thing, walking back across the room here, this table here, we've accumulated everything in this box, for instance, has to do with bows. There's all kind of luthier tools in this case. And there is, uh, you know, pegs, bridges, tailpieces, chin rests, again, more tools. And here's strings, strings, strings for all kind of instruments, not just violins and fiddles because for instance there's a guitar you also see heaters there if i come back down here underneath my tables here i've got banjo city and then i'm coming into more guitars and then i get into mandolins and banjo lens and uh, uh, these little teeny uh, uh guitars and then uh what have we got here here's your your banjo lin here's a homemade musical instrument here's a homemade banjo then i've got harps auto harps dulcimers more auto harps and and different types of harps coming over here i've got some of the beautiful handmade ones so uh and then uh, on this table here i've got some of your more exotic ones so here's your african instruments chinese instruments um a uh, mountain uh, hammer dulcimers and uh, on and on it goes so then because it's a guy who loved his music check out this row right here this is about a thousand in my estimation um, vinyl record albums every kind of genre you want there's one entire tote as i've sorted and righted these i put everything that had to do with fiddles uh in in bluegrass together so there's a bunch of those then there's rock and roll classics you name it i mean there's every genre you could think of in here and if i spin around here you're going to see not only the the um long playing records but here's your 78s and uh and uh 10 inch lps and then on the other side of the room again you've got a whole table here of nothing but 45s thousands and thousands of records here now if i go back around here just a few of the other kind of cool things in this room you've got a um, uh, the karaoke machine. I've got two Casio keyboards running down here. I'm going past the 45s again. These boxes here are all kits. You've got violin kits. Um, there's a mandolin kit. On and on it goes. This piece we found very late in the game. It is a wonderful working um, master's voice. Um, Victrola as you like or a um, phonograph and with the brass bell now i was going to put it in the auction i found it too late so i didn't it's going to be priced also i've got um, another unique item we found in here is this very old spanish uh, shotgun so that's a cool piece that uh, is not got a lot of press we've also got a lot of historical stuff there's going to be foreign coins in the cases out at checkout and there's a lot of coin collecting supplies all kind of vintage computer stuff here, books to do with radios, books to do with music, and uh, oh, love the cats. These Siamese cats are very um, popular. And then um, back down here, all of the items to do with, uh, you know, if you play fiddle, you have to collect every fiddle-shaped thing in the world and every creature playing a fiddle and, and Santa Claus playing the fiddle and on and on it goes. And then under the table with all the uh, project-type violins, all that, and everyone's full, cassettes 
and eight track tapes more than I've seen in one place in a long time now just so you understand the layout of this place we're in actually a garage and uh, everything that's here the folks are moving and so this house as you look outside here these folks had this huge uh, run of like seven garage bays here so we're just going to walk outside and as you come to the sale this is where we'll be selling now there's some workers around here we may stumble across somebody all right everstar ac and dehumidifier here this is one of the uh, highlights of the sale and then if i come on into this room we've got workbenches and everything random and miscellaneous that you could ever want to see so um, there was boxes and boxes of stuff and we just kept unpacking and spreading and it ended up absolutely everywhere all this strange miscellany so everything from your christmas goodies down in the closets the tool rooms we've got um uh you know all kind of car parts and things here's a bunch of perfume bottles here's a dorm fridge for you um there's a nice desk and uh speaker making parts and then there's a bunch of camping and christmas items in here all right now i'm going to peek back into this room we'll take a quick pass around the uh um uh this room here i've got all the electronics on the floor and it was just stuff this is root and haggle area we have so much of it we just sort of bundled it by category tossed it in a box and it's ready to get get out of here we've got the parts cleaner that's a great piece and here in the middle just because why would you do this in the jewel room it's the only room we had place we've got quilts and some of the better clothing then there's heaters uh tools tools galore big great tool cabinet here indoor outdoor tools lighting fixtures there's an arc welder down here on the ground i'm coming around the cabinets that you're seeing are for sale all the tools in the cabinets uh, you can always take a look at the photo gallery tool the tag sale photo gallery you'll get a better look at some of these although they're far more organized today than they were when we started this cabinet's for sale big tv old console tv the desk recliner and this big entertainment center came in at the very last minute as they started cleaning out the couch all right we're going to book you back outside here and you'll see a few things as we go this nice wicker set is uh thank you guys um uh the wicker set is uh up for grabs and now we're going into radio room this room is chock full of radios the lighting here is going to be a little challenging i apologize for that but that's just the time of day the sun's shining in the room so we've got all the old speakers here got a whole this whole set right here the this shelf and the one below it's all uh we think good tubes in good condition you've got some radios there's an atwater kent that's in the tag sale and on this shelf you've got a mixture of everything clocks cameras radios it's all a mixture of tag sale and auction uh, this is one of the old aircraft radios here's um the laser got a couple lasers in here this box is a mine detector that's the first one of those in uh, six years of estate sales that i've had one of my favorites in the house 1970s all the way the panasonic look at those groovy speakers we've got um, more phonographs here uh, radios we got the uh, ham and cb here as well as just good old aff am fm here's your old am radio another one echo phone golden eagle more golden eagle random stuff of all kinds in here uh, microscopes they're for don't ask me why there's three vintage outboard uh, motors here i love these gigantic uh, electrical meters there's all kind of meters down on the ground there's tube testers the hickok tube testers uh, seems to be bidding pretty well clearly a popular item lots and lots of meters here how about an old airplane how about parts cabinets with all the contents um, more parts more parts capacitors conductors everything you want here's two more outboard motors then we're gonna close i got a futon i got a trunk a whole row full of chairs here take your pick take your style king headboard a box full of insulators african masks crazy art and uh you know all the things that all of the um tapes and cds came out of okay the next room is just completely random this is just where everything else went and so i tell you when i say random i mean it it's uh just as we unpacked boxes we we uh, we just spread out tables and it all went in here stuff is bargain priced there's a miscellany some of it's hilarious some of it's useless some of it you got to have some of it you'll wish you never saw but it's all kinds of stuff in this room now books we got a lot of luthier books we got a lot of electrical books radio books as you would think and um uh then there's just a completely other random mix of interesting books in here uh who knows how they got this a whole table full of nothing but um, perfumes I've got your the obligatory um treadmill gotta have one of those 
more random items. How about this? A brand new New Wave in the box. Uh, one of those um, infrared ovens. Got that. Sorry, we're switching lights again. So one of those crazy carved Philippine uh, mirrors. And then I roll into the last room here. We just set this up today. We carried all the furniture out of the house. It's not moving with them. And so you got the large uh, overstuffed. Uh, chair and ottoman this is a really nice clean couch here you got the set of uh, uh, three coffee table and here's the matching end table hey switching light again uh, nice lamps we've got this uh, dining table and six press back oak chairs and then this is franklin mint if y'all are collectors uh, it took me a while to figure out what this was but here's here's apollo here's saturn five and you can see that's i said franklin it's danbury mint these milestones in space new in box these things are crazy expensive and uh, we've got a bunch of them here and then back here on the back wall coke clocks uh all this kind of uh medieval military looking stuff got another this is the second one console stereo in this sale that's a zenith looking really good little small oak secretary nice set of scales pretty chairs here so here's the, oh well last thing we just this i don't even know where this thing came from it showed up today the mega mega blocks dragons store display can you see inside there i can't even tell and hopefully it's showing up but uh, very cool. I mean, the store display, Mega Blocks, and then we got the executive desk. So, uh, as I mentioned, this is a hybrid sale. That means, as I've been saying, about half the items are on the online auction. I'm sorry, I take that back. It's about a tenth of the items. 180 are in the online auction, and then there's thousands more. I used over 1,200 price tags today alone. So it's vastly more items are in this tag sale. So you can come through, pick those up. We open Friday at one o'clock. All the tech stuff's on sale. You can inspect the auction items, see what you want to bid on. Do your bidding Friday night. You come back Saturday and pick up your auction items. And then uh, more tag sale items still here. And at 1 o'clock, any tag sale item is that's left goes half price. We'll have a big blowout. And we'll have the house empty or these garage bays empty uh, by Saturday afternoon. Thank you very much, folks. We look forward to seeing you. And if you haven't checked, when you get on the online auction site, there's already one more sale for next week in Oak Ridge and shortly there'll be the second one. We're doing overlapping auction sales in Oak Ridge on the, uh, the weekend of the 24th. So take a look at those. We appreciate you. We'll see you soon.